So let's say we have that circuit and we want to find the Thevenin equivalent at the port AB, which would be the port defined by these two terminals here, A and B. That's where we want to find the Thevenin equivalent. The first thing I do is I connect an unknown resistor. Let me let me connect that an unknown resistor here. External resistor Rx of an unknown value. On it, we will compute what is a voltage Vx and what is a current, this current here, the current Ix. And we will do that as a function of Rx. Let's solve that circuit. We know all the values of the elements with the exception of Rx because Rx, as you all know, uh, it will be um, infinity in one case and it will be zero in the case of a short circuit. Rx is infinity um, when the circuit is um, open at AB and will be zero ohms when we want a short circuit um, AB. And that's what we're going to do. Solve the circuit. Reference node, nodes one and two. Identify branch currents. Any direction is fine. Those are the directions for the branch currents. And we start writing equations on the HP, right? Restore 2023F, remember what that is, gas mode. And we begin with the definitions. So in this case, I say voltage source is 10, current source is 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, two definitions there. The current I1 is uh, a V source minus the voltage V1 divided by 2. That is the definition, it's just a definition. The current 1 to 2 is V1 minus V2 divided by 7. Keep an eye what I'm doing, right? Just in case. This is V1 over 5. And if I type something that doesn't make sense to you, it's probably because I made a mistake and you tell me, hey, I think you made a mistake. And there is so the current Ix, the current Ix is uh, just V2 divided by Rx, which of course we don't know what it is. A V2 over Rx, fine. Now we write KCL equations for one and for two. Um, this one is current going in, I1, current coming out, I1 0, plus um, I1 2. That is that equation. That is the equation. I delete that. Uh, uh, only the, the printout, right? So I see only KCL1, KCL2, KCL2 is um, coming in. We have the current source, and we have the current I1 2, and coming out Ix. There, that is the second equation. There, much better. Thank you for that. So we solve the system of equations KCL1, KCL2, and solve for V1 and V2, and they will come out as functions of, of Rx. No surprise there, right? We say V1 is um, just x1, o1. There, that is V1. And V2. V2 is x12. In reality, what I need right now is to find who is Ix and who is Vx, because Vx, by definition, is just V2. Correct? There, that is V2. And Ix, who is Ix? We know who is Ix. Ix is that one. Right? So we have them both. We have them both. So the open circuit voltage is Vx when Rx tends to infinity. And the short circuit current is Ix when Rx tends to, tends to what? Anyone? To zero. All right? To zero. So let's say V open circuit is uh, the limit of Vx when Rx tends to plus infinity. So you see Vx is a voltage whose value depends on the value, depends on the value of Rx. It's given by uh, this expression here. That is 
vx. But when rx, this one, tends to infinity, it leaves an open circuit here, and vx becomes the open circuit voltage voc. Voc is the limit of vx as rx tends to positive infinity. That is, that is there, 24 volts, and that is voc. And who is our short circuit? Well, I short circuit is Ix, this one, when Rx tends to help me out, someone. How do I find I short circuit? Yeah. Yeah. As, as the limit of Ix, when Rx tends to zero, you're right. So that is limit of Ix as Rx tends to zero. There. And that is our short circuit. So V7 is just VOC. We know that. And R7 is VOC divided by I short circuit. There. And that is our equivalent circuit.